Yes.
pretty easy. This is National Breast Cancer Month. You're not wearing a pink tie. How many times so far this month have you worn a pink tie? And how many times do you plan to wear a pink tie? Ooh, girl, I don't have a pink tie in my wardrobe, unfortunately. Although I'll tell you this. My daughter flew out to Philadelphia to uh, walk in the effort against breast cancer on uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from Los Angeles, and uh, unfortunately had two of the worst plane rides she ever had because we had tornado warnings at the time, but it did not deter her. And uh, she, her flight was rerouted from Philadelphia to D.C., and then they couldn't land in D.C., and they went to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and then they loaded up and went back. This is scenic tour. Yeah. And yes, when she got to D.C. at 12.30 and had to start walking at, uh, get up at 6 a.m. and fell down. So uh, my daughter's been very much involved in that over the years. We've supported her. And you're going to support her by wearing a pink tie. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe a pink ribbon. I'm not sure about it. We have not been able to do that. You do have some 
corporations are stepping, escaping their tax. And it makes no sense to have the highest effective tax rate for corporations in the world, or, or in the industrialized world, and at the same time give them every incentive to try and avoid paying those taxes. That's why I want to get rid of some of those things that allow them to escape, bring the rates down, that make them competitive, allow them to invest in the United States to create those jobs, and allow us to be more productive vis-a-vis -vis our, our uh, uh, not adversaries, our competitors. Look, the number of people that are in, in uh, India, the number of people that are in China, far outnumber us, and are always going to outnumber us for God Lord knows how long. So how do we compete with them? We have to surround our workers with the best innovation and technology which takes capital, that is people who are willing to invest there. And our laws right now work against that so that our investors are not doing it. And so that's how you that's how you bring it up. You can't magically pass a law and say we're going to get rid of the disparity between uh, rich and the middle class. It doesn't work that way. You've got to see how the economy works. You have to do how the economy works and see if it will work. If you tax every millionaire in America, got 100% of their income, it would pay for the operation of the federal government for four months or less. It isn't going to work. So as much as we like to say, we just tax somebody else, it's going to work, it's not going to. We have to raise the entire economy. John Candy said it very well. He said, a rising tide lifts all boats. That is what we need to do, it seems to me, in our economy. So, anyway, it's a best way to do it. Thank you for being here. Uh, and I'm excited to be here. I appreciate the opportunity to host uh, Thank you very much.